Okay, so today I want to talk about the nth child selectors. In CSS, if you want to target specific elements on your page and they don't have a certain class name or let's say that you don't have access to the HTML, you're using something like a content management system and you can't edit the HTML directly to add a class name or an ID, but you still want to be able through your CSS to target specific elements. That's where things like the nth child selector come in. Now, we have and you may have seen the first child and last child selectors. Those ones are pretty easy. Uh, if I want to target, let's say, ULLI, and I want to target, here's my list items right here on the page. I want to target the first LI. Well, I can do that. I can say first child, and we'll make the text color red. And then we'll go down and we'll target the last one in that list, UL last child, color gold. Let's just keep that simple. There we go. There's the red, there's the gold. So simple enough. If the LI is a first child, apply this style to it. If the LI is a last child, apply this style to it. Now, nth child allows us to do things other than the first one or the last one in a list. So I can say, and I don't have to do the ULLI, I can just target the LI, nth child. Now there's a little formula right here that we can use to put things inside of here to target specific elements. N, this letter, you actually use the letter N inside of here. And this N represents every possible positive integer from zero on up. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. And if I said, Okay, I want to target all elements. So N would be everything, but that's the same as just writing LI. If I was to say 2N, I'm saying every second. So 2 times 0, 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3. Let's say color is going to be green or green yellow. There we go. So every second element. So if N is 0, 0 times 2 is 0. There is no 0 element. Very important to note that with the result of any of these expressions that we put inside of the nth child, that the very first item, this one right here, would be considered number 1 in this list. So 1, 2, 3. Arrays in JavaScript always start at 0, but in CSS, the first element is position 1. So the uh, 0 times 2 would be 0. So there's no match for that. There's no 0th element. So 2 times 1 is 2. So this green is actually going to be the first one, and then we've got 4, and then 6, and 8, and so on. Those would also be showing up as green-yellow. If I make this 3, okay, then 3, 6, 9, and so on. If I was to make this 4, then we'd have elements number 4, 8, 12, and so on. So every fourth, every fifth. Now, if I wanted to start at a different position, <coughs> pardon me, start at a different position. If I wanted to say, all right, I want three every third element, but starting at position two. So element two, and then element five. Now, I have the gold in here. I'll remove this just to illustrate. There it is. I'll put this back in. I'll just comment it out so it's going to be in the file that you get to download from GitHub. There we go. So, 3n plus 2. Starting at position 2. So remember the first one is always number 1. This is number 2. Starting there, every third element. And the formula works same way. We're replacing n with every positive integer. Well, if this is 0, 0 times 3 is 0, plus 2. 2. Position 2. That is our first element. Then if it's 1, it'd be 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. And that's number 5. So, this is the formula for nth child. So it's a way of targeting every second, every third, every fourth, every fifth. And there's a couple of keywords as well. You can also come in here and say that I want all of the odd number ones. I'll do another style here just so I don't overwrite that last one. So all the odd numbered ones, I'm going to have background color set to uh, 
Azure. There we go. I don't know how well that shows up in the screen, but one, three, and five, these are the odd numbered ones. They're all showing up as Azure. We can change that to olive or khaki. There we go. That shows up a lot better. Even numbered. So a couple of keywords, odd and even, that allow us to do alternating rows. Very useful if you're building data tables. If you're using the HTML table element, you can set your TRs to be nth child odd or nth child even to do alternating background row colors. Now that's the nth child first and last child. Why do we have all these other ones? This seems like it covers nearly every possible case. And it does, but there are a few exceptions where this won't give us what we want. Let's take the example where I've got this paragraph right here, and I want to style this differently than the other paragraphs. I want my first paragraph to be different. Well, if I use nth child or first child, so let's say inside of main, I want to target paragraph first child. Okay, that sounds like it makes sense. I want the first paragraph in my main section. All right, now I'm going to change the font size so it shows up. Font size, and we'll say 2REM. Nothing happened. Save my page, nothing happens. Come over here, I refresh the page, nothing happens. Why? That's because there is no paragraph which is the first child. Inside of main, the first child is H1. It's never going to be a paragraph. So in cases like that, that's where we use nth of type or first of type or last of type. So I can come in here and say, instead of first child, I want the paragraph which is first of its type. There we go. Now the paragraph got this styling. Shrink that down a little bit. There we go. We can see the first paragraph got it. The other paragraphs did not. First of type, same sort of thing as saying nth of type. And now with the letter N, we're just saying all of them. It's the same as saying dot main space P. All paragraphs will be a positive position number. We can, for both nth child and nth of type, we've got this formula. But, you know, we can also target specifically one number. So I can say nth of type 2. That's this one. This is number 2. Number 3 or number 1. Same thing up here. If you want to target one specific thing, you can leave off this other part of the formula. Or actually, it's leaving off this part of the formula. Just put in a number, and you were targeting that specific one. Now, I've targeted nth of type which is the same thing as saying dot main p first of type. There we are. So nth of type, if you just put in the number one, it's the same as saying first of type. Inside of here, we can use the same formula that we do here. And that way, we don't have to worry about if there's other things like, oh, the ul's in here. Well, that's going to screw up my numbering because this is the first child, this is the second child, this is the third, this is the fourth, this is the fifth. I could just say main colon nth child. And then we can put in something here and we say, okay, 2n. Every second one is going to have a background color of pink. There we go. So here's number two, here's number four, here's number six. It is doing exactly what we say. We didn't say of type, we didn't provide a tag, we just said, okay, you know what? Inside of main, every second thing, give it this pink background color. So we can apply these with or without the tag in front. Now with nth of type, you do want to specify a tag, but with nth of child, you can leave it off and then just say ignore whatever the tags are, just every second child, every third child, every fourth child, however you want to do it. Or specifically, I want to only set it on the third. So that's going to be our paragraph. One, two, three. Put the number three. There it is. That is the third child. Interestingly, main nth child three also applies here. 
because we left a space inside of here. We didn't say it was only the first descendant of Maine. We said all descendants of Maine, if they are the third child of their parent. So this is the third child of the UL. This is the third child of the main element. We can specify that we only want it to be with this. This is the direct descendant. So first child, basically, or first level down. That would be the H1, H2, paragraph, UL, P, P tags. Those only, not going any deeper than that. Without this, we're talking about all descendants. That's when we get the U, the LI. And if there was something inside this LI or inside any one of these LIs that also had elements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three anchor tags inside of this list item. And the third anchor tag is going to be targeted by the nth child three because the third anchor is the third child of the list item. Okay. So, nth child, we have nth child, first child, last child, first of type, last of type. You'll notice that there's no brackets after first child, last child, first of type, last of type. The reason that we don't have the brackets here is because they don't require any other information. It's the first or the last. There's no numbers needed for that. Nth child, we can put the expression in there. Nth last child, here we would specify just a number. So, we can say that I want the uh, last child would be the last one. Nth last child would say, if I said one, it is going to be the same thing as last child. If I said two, it's the second last child. Three is the third last child, and so on. All right, so that's nth child. Hopefully that's uh, of value to you. You'll be able to target things a little bit better with that. It just provides us with a much better way of targeting things, especially when you don't have access to the HTML. You cannot edit it because it's being generated. Whether it's coming out of a database or a CMS is generating the content or there's some other script that's generating the content, you don't have access to it. In those cases, these are going to be your friends. They will help you target and style things in a way that works for you. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.